I was going to have a wobbly pop, but I felt bad. <laughs> I felt bad, man. And I figured before work comes... Before I... Yeah, I better work before I play. <laughs> Hi, Blitzen. So, this was a nightmarish corner. You might notice that I uh, I, I unwound my uh, hose reel that was outside and uh, unhooked it and wound it back up to drain it and brought it in before it freezes. Done nothing to the pressure washer. Now, I better move this 80 meter <laughs> nightmare dipole, man. Check it out. Circa 1980, hasn't been used since. Built it to take camping with me one day, man. Now, I, I let's get down to the topic at hand. I was going to call it, Are You a Dweeb? But I better not. That's kind of offensive. And uh, apparently in today's world, I don't have the right to offend anybody. Um, some would call for a jail sentence if I offend anybody. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The topic at hand, guys. Let me turn my little LED headlight on because, uh, yeah. Um, now, on my deck, you'll notice the play in the idler wheel, right? I saw another video on YouTube of a guy that created a solution to repair that. Um, this part here is welded to the bracket, right? The swing arm of sorts. He drilled it out to a three-quarter inch with a three-quarter inch drill and was able to buy the proper size bushing to make up the difference between three-quarters inches and the diameter of that uh, pin. I don't think that's dweaving out. I don't think that's dweaving out if I repair that before I store the deck. Let's look here. My tilt limit switch that illuminates the uh, the indicator on the dashboard when this blade is about to bottom out to the right, it activates when the blade has about three more inches to go, which is perfect. I let go of the lever, it stops in time before this bracket starts binding. Why? Because the tilt cylinder placement isn't optimum. I don't think that's dweebing out, right? And while we're here, let's take... This. Let me turn off my headlight. How rude of me. No difference. <laughs> How not rude of me. This plastic spinner nut on top of the air cleaner housing, I bought that. I bought that because it just had a nut on it. And whilst storing the pressure washer, look at the nut. It's a little different. And uh, with, with honesty, man, full disclosure, I was going to switch them just to see how it looked. But it was the wrong size, wrong thread size. Thank God. Would that be dweebing out? See these, uh, what, uh, I don't know, what, what do you, whatever you want to call them, right? Anti-skid, um, um, pads, for lack of a better word. There were none when I bought this, but green paint and, uh, no rust. And that's because they were gone. He had the sense to peel them off when they were starting to unattach so that water didn't get trapped underneath there and uh, rust it out, right? Full disclosure, when I put those on, I made them. When I put them on, I was almost afraid, not afraid, very, very reluctant to drive my tractor outside when it was wet out. I didn't want to get them dirty. <laughs> I didn't want to get them dirty. Is that dweebing out? Now, sure as shit, Blitzen thinks I'm insane, which is correct, <laughs> technically. Check it out. I bought this chrome paint and never used it, right? Check out the blade, man. I've mentioned it before, right? But look at the hydraulic fitting. Oh, that light doesn't do, that doesn't work. Look at the hydraulic fitting. I just shot the whole thing with satin black, right? The couplers used to be 
a chrome, a silver finish, right? I just shot everything with black. Oh, I got to tip my head in the right direction, and you can see, I painted everything black, man. All the fittings, and that I solved. I solved it. Now you can tip the blade all the way up, man. All black, black on yellow. I tipped the blade to the left. Last time I pulled it in the garage, look. That area didn't get hit with satin black, did it? In fact, I got a little yellow on it when painting the blade, man. What would you do, guys? Would you give it a shot of black? Or would you leave it be? Is painting it black dweebing out? Fixing this hydraulic cylinder plumbing so that you could tip the blade all the way out, man. I like that because I can pick it up about 16, 17 inches now and back blade a big ass pile of snow. I realized I, I had these parts laying around, man. All I had to do was turn the original fitting pointing slightly down of straight left. I installed a one and a half inch nipple, male to male nipple, a 90 degree female to female L. Then I screwed the original fitting back in, the adapter fitting. And that, that's it. That's not dweebing out, man. That's a very common sense repair, so I don't bash my bumper and bend it up anymore. Man, I'm haunted by the question of whether that limit switch... It's not truly a limit switch. It doesn't stop anything. It's just an indicator activation switch. I'm a little bothered by it. I don't know if that's dweebing out or not, man. I gotta show you one last confession. Confession Finis is located in the shed. Let's see if I can get baby boy Blitzy to accompany me to said shed. I bet not. He loves the cold. My friend John Lee has one. Abigail. Abigail goes wild in the snow, man. She loves it. She loves you to take shovelfuls of snow and throw them straight in her face. Hang on. The yarn in the barn. As we uh, make our way into the barn, uh, uh, Confession Finis lies right here. Uh, as Annie Lennox likes to sing, would I lie to you? <laughs> would I lie to you, honey? Yeah, you're not my honey. Hang on. Check this out, man. My beloved Troy built my first tractor. A 2009, and it works just superbly. It's had superb maintenance its whole life. Uh, I've owned it for uh, three years now. And check it out. When I first built this tractor, I didn't build it. I went over it with a fine-tooth comb, man. Let me get my head tilted to the right angle. Well, I was wrong. I was wrong. Baby boy. Hi, Blitzy. Hi, Blitzy, you want to go between my legs like you guys do? No, he's out of here. When I went over it with a fine-tooth comb, man, I didn't want to mow the grass. I did not want... I started to fret over little things like the top of the uh, motor, uh, the engine, getting dirty. <laughs> I started dwe... Uh, is it dweebing out? It had an internal filter, and that's it, on the line in the tank. I added that. I added a fuel shutoff valve. Is that dweebing out? If I dweebed out at all on this mower, this ride-on lawnmower, as my nurse sister correctly calls it, there's redemption. I haven't replaced the anti-skid tape, nor do I plan to. <laughs> I drive it when really it needs a little grease and it's squeaky and crap. I figure, well, the parts are self-clearancing, <laughs> making it easier to steer. Uh, I'll, I figure I'll replace them someday, and I may. 
How about the garage door opener? Or the front, the uh, weatherproof front and rear high intensity LED lights that I installed, right? Similar to this. <laughs> Well, not similar to that, exactly that. <laughs> there they are, right? How can I deny it? The headlights, both above and one down low. <laughs> one down low, which you can, right? Is any of that dweebing out? And that's all I have. Let me turn this headlight off, how rude of me. That's all I have. For a yarn in the barn. Let's grab Blitzy, make our way back to the garage. My man is faithful. He goes everywhere daddy does. To the toilet, uh, you name it man. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Come on Blitzy, we gotta end this miserable video. These poor people. Hey guys, I've been really, really struggling mentally lately. And when that happens, oddly enough, here come the nightmares. Um, for the last six nights in a row, I've had all night repeated, repeating nightmares. They're back. And uh, this video is self-healing, man. They really, really, really help beyond belief. And I think it's time to go make dinner, man. <laughs> um, if you've made it this far into this uh, fairly pointless, silly video, um, I really thank you. I really thank you. And I mean that with all my heart, man. You guys are beyond too kind to me. You really are, man. And it touches my heart every comment you leave doesn't matter what you say the fact that you took time out of your life to comment to one of my videos you have no idea how that feels for me I don't think the new white paint is dweebing <laughs> you know what I mean um, I hope you have the very best winter <laughs> this this year and um, yeah, so take care. 73s. Three. Oh my God. Whoa, maybe I don't deserve my ticket back. That's the first time I've committed that sin. <gasps> Ooh. Hey, Puzzle. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> you losing up, Puzzle. You sound like those guys. <laughs> Threes. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks for stopping by the old landfill. Take care. From Chucky and Blozo. And Mr. Bits, we wish you well.